Greetings to you. We are here to present the nominees for Pop Contemporary Album of the Year. Yeah. And uh, we actually grew up from a very, very young age in and around music. Yes, we are, we're originally from the land down under, from Australia. I hope you can still tell, sort of. We've lived right here in Nashville, Tennessee, yo. Yeah, you, uh, you Americans have completely jacked up our accent. Yes, you have, you have. Hey, but I've got some good news. I actually am digressing, but I, about four months ago, I got sworn in as a United States citizen. True story. Very proud. Very proud. But our, our dad was actually a concert promoter in Australia when we were growing up. So in the 80s, he brought over a load of artists and bands, one of which was Striper. You know. And, I, and this is one of my first memories. I remember covering my ears at a rock show um, when I should, probably should have been covering my eyes because it was just spandex <laughs> and puffy hair, you know? But it was, uh, it was, it was, it was quite a journey. Yeah, and, I, and I remember uh, Carmen. Any Carmen fans here? The, yeah. the Italian All stallion. Right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, a little side note, our sister Rebecca St. James, the first tour she ever did, she was 13 years uh, of age. In Australia, she did. She toured with Common. Yeah. And so, you know, you remember the the Champion the album, right? Yeah. We love that album. So that's that's some history from some us. Some good, some good monologues. Yes. Um, also, uh, <laughs> yes. Thanks. But um, Amy Grant was one other one. Dad toured Amy Grant in Australia not once but twice. Um, he also, or speaking of Amy Grant, she won this category. Yes. Twice. Twice. Uh, for what was it again? They were very, two very, very age of age and lead me on. Lead me on. That's yeah. those are the two. Yeah. Um, but I did want to say just very quickly to really the pioneers that are in the room here, those that have gone before us, um, thank you for the work that you have done in, in really establishing a genre, stabli establishing the gospel music genre. Um, we're here tonight. Tonight is a night to celebrate you all. And so Without further ado, though. Yes, the nominees for Top Pop Contemporary Album are... Pop Contemporary Album of the Year. The Very Next Thing, Casting Crowns. Rise, Danny Goki. The River, Jordan Feliz. Lifer, Mercy Me. Chainbreaker, Zach Williams. And the Dove Award goes to... You can do it. I just ripped it in half. Oh, here we go. Lifer, Mercy Me. We weren't paying attention because I thought you, when he said Carmen, I thought he said, was talking about the rapper Common, but it's Carmen. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the same thing. Had to ask Kirk, and he was like, no, it's not Common. So thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> Throw another shrimp on the bobby. <laughs> um, so, uh, just keep going. Anyway, so, yeah, yeah, it's a, gosh, thank you so much. Uh, we are products of the system, man. We have been Christian music fans our whole life, and uh, we've been to a lot of these, and it's, it's something we never want to take lightly, and, and uh, it's just what a, what a stinking awesome job to make music for the kingdom for a living. And, uh, and um, I always say, like, I think a Spurgeon said, when God calls you to serve, calls you to preach, never stoop to be a king. What you do matters. Um, even when the enemy tries to beat you down and say that it doesn't. And uh, I want to thank our wife and our kids and for the long journey. Hi, guys. And so uh, anyway, did y'all want to say anything? And... 
Record label. Oh, our record, yeah, yeah, Fair Trade, and, and Ben Glover and David Garcia producing, and our producers, and everybody else that's, uh, anyway, just, William Morris. yeah, yeah, all those people, thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs>